To date, over 97,000 people have been infected with the novel coronavirus worldwide and more than 3,000 people have been killed. The Director General of the World Health Organization has warned the governments that the spread of the virus is not a drill and will require significant action to contain the deadly outbreak. We are concerned that some countries have either not taken this seriously enough or have decided there is nothing they can do. We are concerned that in some countries the level of political commitment and the actions that demonstrate that commitment do not match the level of the threat we all face. This is not a drill. This is not the time to give up. This is not a time of, for excuses. This is a time for pulling out all the stops. The call to action comes as the global number of people infected by the virus nears 100,000. This milestone now appears inevitable with the virus expanding in South Korea, Japan, parts of Europe, Iran and the United States. And now the World Health Organization is concerned that in some countries the level of political commitment does not match the threat level. The Vatican has reported its first coronavirus case today, days after Pope Francis was tested negative. The virus has now reached the epidemic to the city-state surrounded by Italy, which has confirmed more than 3,800 cases and 148 deaths due to the virus. With this, Italy has become one of the worst virus outbreak outside of China. Italy has unveiled an $8.4 billion economic rescue plan to combat the virus. The tourism industry in Italy is also facing the brunt. In Japan, there is a growing anxiety that the number of coronavirus cases could be significantly higher than reported, and the experts have started questioning the country's approach to testing as infection rates are climbing. The Japanese government says it has the capacity to carry out 3,800 tests a day. However, only 8,111 tests had been conducted as of the 4th of March. According to the numbers, the, uh, these reads by the health ministry, Japan has reported 33 new cases of coronavirus. The overall total now stands at 1,023. In the neighboring South Korea, infections have surged dramatically with more than 6,500 confirmed cases. The numbers surged after the government tested ten th tens of thousands of people as part of a mass screening drive aimed at better mapping and controlling the virus spread. The country confirmed 196 new infected cases with at least 42 deaths reported. Around 99 countries have restricted entry of anyone coming from South Korea. Though the rate of new infections and fatalities in China has slowed down, the country's National Health Commission has reported that as of the end of today, more than 3,000 people have died and over 80,000 cases have been confirmed. Now all 126 new confirmed cases in Hubei province are from the city of Wuhan. 17 new cases have been announced outside the province. Bhutan becomes the latest country in Asia to record its first case of coronavirus. The patient is a 76-year-old from the United States who has a travel history to India. The patient reached Bhutan earlier this week after traveling from the Indian city of Guwahati. Now, South Africa has also reported its first cases and Dominican Republic has confirmed its second case. Fresh cases continue to erupt across the globe. Pakistan has reported its sixth case of the infection. The 69-year-old has a travel history of visiting Iran and returned to Pakistan just last week. Australia has ordered one of its schools to shut down after a 16-year-old student has contracted the virus. Australia has confirmed more than 60 infected cases and two elderly people have already died amid the outbreak. Scott Morrison's government has also announced a $1 billion fund for containing the outbreak. Confirmed cases in Germany have leaped to 534 as uh, 15 German states have come under the virus radar. And more than two, uh, half of 280 cases are from Germany's most populous state, North Rhine-Westphalia. Uh, the UK and Switzerland have recorded their first deaths. Prime Minister Boris Johnson says that the UK is still in virus containment phase. Uh, there's been a change of advice on 
on Italy, I, I believe. But basically, we're saying wash your hands uh, and business as usual. Uh, we're still in the contain phase. Obviously, we're, we're looking at the, uh, the preparations we need to make now uh, for delay. Coronavirus continues to target new victims from people, education, Hollywood, box office, sports events and to uh, parliamentary sessions. The European parliamentary session, which was scheduled to take place in the French city of Strasbourg, will now take place in Brussels. Remember, Belgium too has reported more than 23 infected cases.